Welcome, Cancer, to your love reading for the week of September 3rd to the 9th of 2018. So, let's look into what's going on with you. So, let's see. Hope you have a great week. Good vibes. All right. Um, so, we're going to do a quick five-part spread. Now, the aura energy um, between both. Who might be coming towards you? Your response, advice, outcome. All right. For the week. Your September 2018 love reading is up. All right. Now we have here the page of wands is showing up again, and this just came up for Gemini. You might be dealing with the Gemini for some of you, so it's uh, sometimes a mutual um, attraction where there are opportunities to hang out, to be more playful, more jovial, to disconnect and try to have a good time. Some of you might be nurturing a child together. You might be pregnant. You might be thinking about adopting a child. You know, that energy is there. But I feel like this is either a request from your partner or this is almost like advice um, as to embrace this energy, freedom loving, you know, traveling, being spontaneous, having a good time and uh, looking out for a message or invitation maybe uh, throughout the week or in, um, the weekend where you're having fun because you're creative, you're talented, and um, I know that all of you are in your own way, so you try to embrace that, but just uh, try to allow your partner or love interest some space as well if they're dealing with some heavier issues. Now, what they might be bringing towards you is uh, some truth, all right? Now, either they are letting someone know about you and them, or the fact that they bring some truth towards you about what needs to happen because there was some kind of dishonesty we'll clear this up as things move forward so your response is it seems like you for two different cancerians i might be talking about um if the fact that you have moved on from somebody and they bring some truth towards you is the fact that they're not ready and the both of you need to just be friends or to just kind of do your own thing and maybe sever that tie and connection and the fact that some of you the truth is coming out about someone else where they're moving on from another person and right now you have to be friends or just uh, do your own thing you know embrace your freedom right now because the future is may, may where might be where the connection is going to be stable so I feel like you're focusing on the future you're working right now because things between you two are not really good so uh, keep that in mind now your advice there is some uh, dishonesty so someone is not being quite honest about um, things that you would like to understand sometimes these might be issues where there is like a codependent kind of thing where you might be really attached to somebody and they don't open up or it forces some kind of frustration that comes from you from the obstacle that's created because of the attachment factor which is this kind of energy um, with justice in reverse we'll look into this a bit further and then the outcome where you're still in your head you're thinking about somebody even if someone you told someone that okay we just have to be friends right now we can't really be intimate you know there's really not any more life into the connection right now um, but sometimes you're still thinking about that particular person not being able to move on not being able to stop thinking about them for a moment and then being able to do something else so that could be the injustice factor we're looking to why is this seven up swords here for uh, cancer hmm. So you, again, someone that you might be very unhappy with, it's uh, maybe a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and I feel like there is um, maybe issues, emotional issues that really drained you in the connection. And I feel like it's in your best interest right now to separate and party because two things now this is general reading. That's why I mentioned that it's the fact that you are dealing with an outside person or party. And they're interfering in the connection. And if your love interest let that other person know, if it was a marriage or previous relationship, to let them know they're interfering with the connection and they're potentially competing for your love interest um, to stay. But the friction is so deep that they need to, you know, do something else. And you need to do something else right now because it's not going to work out. And um, that's for some others of you. You're needing to truly detach from somebody because you know that this is not a healthy connection to be with and they constantly lie they might even cheat numerous times you accept it you forgive them and it happens again clarify justice in reverse for cancer with your waiting all right um sometimes when the waiting is there you're doing that a bit too much and that could stress you out because things are not moving forward i feel like part of 
waiting is part of you doing something else and focusing there and allowing that to catch up with you when time is right all right so let's see messages for cancer for september 3rd to night love we have birthday and it says a significant birthday holds the answers to your questions and um i feel like that is you know you feel like that's a mile away from here right um but sometimes you might be in a new situation where this could be their birthday if you're dealing with somebody else all right but often these things these processes can take a long time and your birthday will be here july will be here you know soon you know so um don't feel like these opportunities are going to be you know something that stresses you out completely yes that might be really important for many of you out there you might even be thinking about plans you might even um it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have to wait all of that time for something to come to fruition. Maybe it's going to take until then to heal from somebody who you have released or that other person as well. Maybe a, a year's time, you know, that might be the case. But um, I feel like that might be important for many of you out there. So that's going to be a reading for the week. I do send you a lot of love, a lot of light to you, tons of healing vibes as well. And if you would like to, you can always go to the website for a private or personal reading. That's going to be significant for your energy and whoever you might be dealing with. And uh, have a good one. The phone option is not an option at this time. So have a good one. Have a good one.